In 2022, Rafael Nadal won both the French Open and the Australian Open, a fantastic feat that most players who train their whole lives are unable to achieve. Yet Nadal did this at 35 years of age. However, things have changed, leading many to believe he might be about to retire. So what's going on? And why is it that someone who won two Grand Slams only two years ago could now be about to put down the racket for the last time? Welcome back to Tennis Tales. Today we talk about why Rafael Nadal is struggling and could be about to retire. Rafael Nadal is no stranger to injuries. Two years after his professional debut at age 17, he was forced to withdraw from the French Open after picking up an elbow injury. His first notable injury was one year later, at 18 years old, due to a broken bone in his foot. This injury inhibited him from participating in many competitions. However, after many setbacks throughout his career, they ultimately failed to dampen Nadal's drive and enthusiasm. In recent years, the Spanish headliner has been trying to cope with injury setbacks that have raised questions over whether his illustrious career will continue. We will examine how his recent injuries have affected him, where they originated, and what damage they have done to his distinguished career, giving you the blow-by-blow -blow since his success in 2022. 2022. Abdominal Tear In 2022, Rafael Nadal encountered a significant stumbling block just days before Wimbledon began, with an abdominal tear forcing him to withdraw from his semi-final match against Nick Kyrgios. That's confirmed. I have um, a tear in the in the muscle, in the abdominal. Yet despite encountering this significant setback, Rafael Nadal's 2022 success remained undiminished. However, this is where things get difficult for Nadal. 2023. Rafael Nadal suffered a huge setback in his tennis career. In January 2023, at the Australian Open second round, Nadal lost and then went on to explain to the tennis world that he is suffering from a hip injury. A new injury, is that the hip? Is in of course, he's talked a lot about having injections for the foot. A tremendous strain placed on his iliopsoas muscle, one of the most powerful flexors in the body, which helps us move around. Nadal guessed an absence from the ATP tour of around six to eight weeks, but eventually called time on his whole 2023 season before undergoing surgery. With the Australian Open being in January, this means Nadal missed almost a whole year of tennis undergoing and recovering from surgery. Apart from putting a close on Nadal's ability to win at the top level currently, this injury also raises doubts about how long his career might go on. In the aftermath of the injury, Nadal publicly admitted that he might be incapable of carrying on in 2024, saying in late 2023, you never know what's going on, you know. I can't predict how I'm going to be in the next six months. I can't predict if my body will allow me to enjoy tennis as much as I enjoyed the past 20 years. It's not an easy decision, but I know inside myself that it is a high percentage that it's going to be my last one, referring to the next season in 2024. He also said, if I thought about retirement during that period of time, of course, yes. I went through a lot of things that were pretty bad. This announcement shook the world of tennis and led to thoughts on his outstanding career and the huge influence that he had made on the sport. But his career wasn't over yet, as in the months to come, he started to look like he was making a comeback and he said, at some point I decided to keep going. Then I just began working day by day without thinking much and doing the things I have to do. It's impossible to think about winning tournaments today. What's really possible is to enjoy the comeback. I don't expect much one year without being on the court. So things were looking up for Nadal until 2024, thigh injury. Just this year, in January 2024, Nadal withdrew from the Australian Open again due to a micro tear in his thigh muscle, just days after returning from the year-long hip injury. At the Brisbane International, the pre-tournament to the Australian Open, Nadal felt discomfort during his match against Jordan Thompson. As you say, Understandably so, due to it being what we, we think is a hip or perhaps a groin injury. Despite the setback, Nadal reassured fans that the tear is not in the same repeated area as his previous injuries and remains positive about his recovery. He has since been back playing and trying to get back in form to compete at the highest level. Age was sometimes on Nadal's side to boot. However, recently, Nadal's recovery from injury has slowed and maintaining peak performance has become increasingly difficult. 
Usually, when athletes reach this point in their careers, they have two choices. Either retire or suffer a steady decline because of the physical stress of playing at a high professional level. Fighting spirit alone allowed Nadal to counteract the effects of time, however, and until now, he continued performing at levels that matched his peak years. Roger Federer, a key rival of Rafael Nadal and a member of tennis's Big Three, underwent knee surgery at 38 years old, sparking retirement speculation. Despite doubts, Federer pursued a lengthy rehabilitation plan and returned to the ATP Tour a year later, showcasing his enduring skill and elegance. With the break, the only one he's achieved in the match, and he takes this first round. Could Nadal go down a similar path? Federer's comeback at age 38 and 39 raises questions about 37-year-old Nadal's potential for a similar resurgence, given their shared work ethic and passion for the sport. However, the feasibility of such a comeback depends on multiple factors, including the severity of Nadal's injuries, his capacity to modify his playing style to reduce stress on the physical body, and his willingness to commit himself to stringent rehabilitation and conditioning programs. In addition, Nadal's decision-making process must consider considerations beyond mere physical capabilities, such as personal mental satisfaction, long-term health, and whether to leave the game on one's own terms. In late 2023, Nadal said, What I missed was to be healthy, to wake up and not have pain. Also, Nadal now has kids and he might want to spend more time with them instead of traveling all over the world for different tennis tournaments, as financially we are sure Nadal is doing quite well from all his past success. Rafael Nadal's tennis career has seen many instances of refusing to sink without grappling back up for air. Rafa didn't feel like a tennis player at that stage. Thoroughly plagued by injuries throughout the years, possible future status withered for Rafael Nadal's game as he nursed his back and foot back to health. Yet what set Nadal apart was his remarkable ability to turn setbacks into triumphs during his tennis career. In 2022, Nadal broke all expectations and proved himself to be a true champion. This extraordinary feat upheld how widely held an opinion it is that he is one of tennis's all-time great players.